reach advantage goes to Pickett as well. And this is the this is the the vote that the fans kind of said, hey, this is the one we want to see. This was their number one choice, and it's a good matchup to start with. It really is. These guys, both problems in the past, claim to have rededicated themselves, but but the only way to find that out is to get them in the ring and find out. Charles Bennett has been in Tulsa, Oklahoma, training with with Chris. Thorne, or the local stuntman, as Bennett calls him, a wrestler. He's trying to tighten up his wrestling game. He's trying to keep it on his feet, become a well, well-rounded mixed martial artist. But Fickett has such a great wrestling pedigree. Let's go up right now to ring announcer Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Console Bluff Event Center here at First Console Casino, as we are live in Newkirk, Oklahoma, and around the world on pay-per-view for the Shine Fights Lightweight Grand Prix. Our three judges scoring all of these contests are Mike Ballastero, Barbara Bonick, and Anthony Macias. And our referee in charge all evening long is Shane Garrett. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, official weight 154 pounds. A veteran of 52 fights. He has a record of 38 victories against 14 defeats. Three wins coming by way of knockout. 26 by way of submission. He comes to us from Tucson, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a UFC veteran, Drew Knight Rider Fickett. And his adversary across the ring to my right, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a street fighter, standing five feet seven inches tall, official weight, 153 pounds. His mixed martial arts record includes 23 wins, 17 defeats with two draws. 14 of his wins coming by way of knockout with six by way of submission. He joins us tonight from Ocala, Florida. Please welcome a pride veteran, Kid Chaos, Charles Bennett. An unusual way to be introduced, lying on the canvas, and we are in a ring tonight, a 24-foot square ring, so that will definitely play into some of the strategy as we go along. So Shane Garrett is the referee for Tulsa, Oklahoma, fourth year refing MMA, 72 as a fighter, and we're set to go, Fickett, and Bennett. And don't blink. You see that aggressive style by Fickett. He's wanting to close the distance, get in there, and work for that takedown. He was very happy with the style matchup of Crazy Horse Bennett. But Bennett said, you know what? I've been working on my wrestling. I've been in Tulsa, training with Chris Thorne. I might even take him down, he told me, Bruce. Pickett has him up against the ring now, spins him down! This is exactly where Drew wants the fight to be. He ends up in, in guard and he's looking to pass already into half guard. Now to mount. And a good move by Bennett. Which is to that arm bar. Oh, Bennett, now they're back to their feet. Able to pull that arm out, but a good aggressive style for Pickett. He's going after those submissions. Just a minute gone by, Fickett and Bennett. And this is where the guy said we were gonna be explosive. Let's see. Right hand. Charles Crazy Horse Bennett is always explosive. Fickett's gonna wanna slow the pace down as he did in the first. It's probably sometimes he's explosive out of the ring and gets himself in trouble. <laughs> Very true, both these guys have had a checkered pass but both working on them as well and trying to take it back to the high level. And Fickett drops him again. Good takedown, he got right behind those legs, kept driving, and let's see 
if he can move the mount again, what he can do on top, and if Charles' ground training has paid off for him here, or how much he's improved. He did score a submission over Derek Noble in the second round in his last bout in April. He was losing five straight to end 2009, as you mentioned. And you see there on Fickett's left arm, Crazy Horse is working with that Kimura, and he's able to sweep him there. He needs to pull that wrist closer to the body. That's a tough place to finish from, but... Can Crazy Horse get the submission there? He's got the arm locked up. He has it. He, wanted to get he wants to get it sucked up to the body closer, but he's happy just being on top. Very impressive of him to get that sweep. He's obviously taking his training seriously again. So Bennett now inside Fickett's guard, showing short left hands, one to the body, one to the head. Fickett is moving for that arm bar. He's got to get that left leg over the face, and he does. He's trying to hyperextend that arm, but Crazy Horse picks him up. Oh, Crazy Horse playing to the off. crowd. That is extended, but he's not tapping out. Oh, and he nailed him on his head. He landed the head right to the canvas. Remarkable. Not the most technical defense by any means, but certainly entertaining. What a great job by Kid Chaos. And maybe showboating a little bit at the wrong time when he should have been concentrating on trying to finish his opponent. Better MMA fighters have been caught in submissions doing that. He probably should focus on this fight instead of entertaining everyone else, but that's his personality. Drew Fickett up for the triangle, switches to an arm bar, and Kid Chaos pulls his arm out there. He missed that wild right hand, and back to the feet they go. Drew was, was so happy for this style matchup, but right there to a guillotine arm in, that's a tough position, and Fickett oh, is known for his guillotine, and he it. gets it. Jumped him out. He got the guillotine on his feet, down to the ground went Kid Chaos, and it was over. Fickett has a tight guillotine, and as you saw, he got that arm trapped in there. That's one less arm to defend, but Bennett, Bennett got out of a few subs there. And I don't think at the end there, Fickett was trying to drop him a second time. He was trying to help him up, but it was too early because Kid Chaos was basically out. Yeah. And there's the mutual respect here at the end of the fight. All right, let's go back, first of all, to, to Bennett's move before we get to the finish. Yeah, you watch here, Fickett's going for that arm bar. Bennett stands up, the arm's extended, but he's pushing on those legs and kind of looking to the crowd. He's able to slam him right there, and that arm slides out as Fickett goes for the go-go plata. Here's the end now, Bo. Now Fickett jumps to that arm in guillotine, and he traps Bennett's right arm, so he can't defend there. Bennett tries to go to his back, but he has to tap right there. Very dynamic move by Fickett. So he tried to get out of the guillotine here, but had nowhere to go, and when he goes to the ground, he's out quick, right? Boom, boom, the right. tap. As he traps that right arm, it's over. Tremendous execution by Fickett, right? Very, very good. He got that arm and guillotine, very popular move in the last few years, and when he jumped that left leg over the arm, Bennett had no chance. So Fickett will be coach of the season 12 of the Ultimate Fighter, put on a pretty good show for his guys to watch. Let's go up to ring announcer Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at three minutes, 34 seconds of round one for your winner by way of tap out due to guillotine choke. And moving on to the semifinals of the Shine Fights Lightweight Grand Prix, Drew Knight Rider So Fickett opens up in style. And uh, just quick correction there. Josh Koscheck is the coach for the Ultimate Fighter, and Fickett has a victory over him. Right there, jumps to guard. That left forearm is tight on the carotid artery of Bennett. He, dry, he, he falls to his back to try to re relieve the pressure, but it's too late, and he is tapping. Another look at it, Bo Taylor. From a different angle, that arm is in tight. Bennett's right here. You can see him jump backwards to try to relieve the pressure, but Fickett just keeps the hold, doesn't post out. Able to finish him real quick. Bennett tapped instantly. Well, a member of our broadcast team is Sean Patrick Flannery, the actor and MMA black belt and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Let's go to Sean right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the ring with Drew Fickett, who just defeated an always game and very dangerous Charles Bennett. I 
gotta tell you, at one point you were hanging off the arm and it looked completely locked out. How close was that submission? He said it wasn't close at all, and I believe him. He's actually a really honest, nice guy. Um, he was really scrappy. I have a problem sometimes with smaller, shorter guys, but he, he was, I could tell, just being on top of him. He's tough to keep down. He didn't have like real good technical jiu-jitsu, but he brought it. He's a fighter, so thank you, Charles, for a great fight. I appreciate you, brother. Well, that's a great example of the takedown, the positional dominance, and the actual submission. But I got to tell you, there's uh, eight guys, and you got to win three fights. It looked like he spiked you on your head. Are you good to go for the rest of the tournament? I'm good to go for the rest of the tournament. We're looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Drew Fickett, back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Sean.